Hey, welcome to C4 Entertainment. I'm Casey, and this is Caleb. Today we're covering Tomahawks versus Hatchets. So, one of the big reasons we're comparing the two is the function of a, or the purpose of a Tomahawk and a Hatchet in your pack are virtually the same. You're carrying them for the same reason. It's a little axe that you don't have to lug around everywhere with a 36 inch handle, and it can still cover most of the processing requirements for an axe. First thing we're gonna jump into is the functionality difference between the two. You have tomahawks, which have a much different profile than a hatchet. Whereas the hatchet has a flat hammering surface on the back, most of the time your tomahawk is gonna have a spike on the back that is either flat or, I don't even know what the word for that is, curved? The ones that are like the concave? war hawks. Yeah, con convex or concave. We don't know words. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it's got a pokey thing on the back that's mainly used for hunting the most dangerous game. Yeah, both of them are going to come equipped with some kind of belt or pack carrier to them. That's one of the biggest uh, draws for both of them is they pack and carry very easily. So mm -hmm. the big utility difference is going to be in the back end because the front end on both is for processing wood. You can do other stuff with it, but relatively the same. It's going to be a stylist and a weight difference. You could, like, a uh, tomahawk and an axe for the exact same reason because they feel the same in your hands. They got the same size cutting blade. There's going to be a lot of similarities on this end. Where you're going to run into the differences is the functionality of your secondary tool on the tool. So on a hatchet, it's more of a hammer. You're using it for hammering stuff around. Uh, yeah, it typically comes into play in a camping scenario where you're pounding in stakes or some people will be driving in different in bushcraft environments, will be driving in different, um, I guess, big stakes, but for, for different purposes instead of holding your tent down. Versus a tomahawk, which is only carried by people that are badass enough to just push their stakes in the ground, and they just need a device for grabbing fallen materials, such as logs, where you want to thump it in the side, so you got a much better lever to turn that log over if you want to cut on a different side of the log making very rough holes in things for uses in the woods and uh, just generally everything you could use a pick for tree roots digging holes it's going to be a lot it's a very aggressive tool that you don't have to worry about blunting another major difference between the two and this is probably the biggest difference in its normal cutting wood functionality is going to be the weight of them tomahawks are typically lighter than hatchets by a margin mm-hmm yeah, usually tomahawks and hatchets in the same category. The tomahawk is going to be 60% as heavy as the axe, which is going to be a lot nicer on your back, but when it comes to cutting wood, it's going to be noticeably less aggressive. Which brings us to our next point, which is effectiveness. How good are they at their job? Um, I would argue that the hatchet is much better at processing wood, and you can do a lot more with it. This is kind of where the hammer thing comes into play. Not only is it better at cutting the wood, but you can use this for any kind of batoning. You can take another log and pound it through, and you don't have that accessibility with a tomahawk. Mm -hmm. Which the tomahawk is going to suffer from the classic fault of every multi-tool. It does a lot more stuff, but it's not as good at all of its jobs. A tomahawk is going to be kind of a fusion between a garden hoe and an axe versus an a, a hatchet just straight up being an axe, the hammer is just kind of a byproduct of its manufacturing. So it's going to be doing an okay job of being a hoe and a good job of being an axe. So there's, there's a large effectiveness difference, though, when, you, when you're talking to two of them. If I'm going to carry something out into the woods with me, typically on, on this kind of stuff, you're, it's either in your car, which is one of the reasons you want it smaller, which in that case, it doesn't, <clears throat> in that case, it doesn't matter. However... When you go off into the woods, typically you're carrying something this small because you're going a long distance. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to go through the effort to take it all of that way, I want something that's really good at what it does. And so for me, even though it's only one area of effectiveness really different, that's the whole purpose I brought it. You could argue, however, that the tomahawk makes a better knife substitute. So the thing and the reason we're split on this that I love about tomahawks is the fact that they're made, in almost every case, to be gripped very near to the head, which gives you a lot more dexterity with the cutting surface. So there's a lot of tool, a lot of jobs that you don't need to pull your knife out for. 
Well, or if your knife breaks, you have a backup no matter what. Versus an axe that's going to be a little more unwieldy in that department. Which is part of the, when you're going camping or any kind of survival situations, you're trying to build in redundancies. And that's a ma- having another cutting tool is a major redundancy. And this is a lot more effective be- because of the nature of it. When you're holding these two, you can see that my finger on this one is almost lined up with the middle. So I have a lot more control there. Whereas this one's very top heavy. So I only really have control of this edge and I can't mm-hmm. use the middle as effectively as I can on a tomahawk. And also a lot of the things that I like about the tomahawk are that are the multifunctionality, the thing that makes it weakest in the primary area of the use, which I don't I don't really notice that noticeable of a difference. Um, in the primary use, chopping wood, it takes a little bit more effort, but it's not really worth to me, to me, this is personal, packing a hatchet versus packing a tomahawk. I like having a lot of that secondary functionality. I've never really run into a problem with the hammer thing because you just turn the tomahawk sideways and hammer it in with the side. So that's never really bugged me either. Um, and I just like having a lot of options in any scenario. And for me, I'm all about speed and uh, power. Mm. 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 So now we're going to talk about when you would carry each of them. Um, For me, I don't carry either very often because I would rather lug the big thing in and have an axe and then something else handy. I don't use this for a lot of processing, especially not this one. Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't don't use it for a lot of processing wood or anything. It's just ineffective at its job. I'd rather have a saw or an axe. So I'm not carrying these very often. However, there is an argument for carrying them because... Casey carries them relatively often. All right, that's about it for our opinion on axes and tomahawks. We're sure they're not relevant. We're a couple idiots, but thanks for watching. Hit that like button, smash the subscribe, and please turn the bell on for notifications so you can know when you can waste your next 10 minutes on something you didn't want to. And if you don't, we'll find you with our street cred. And then you're going to hit me once, and I'm going to cry. A lot. We have a very particular set of skills. So unless you want to see me cry, hit the like button.